Well, I started with John Conway back in 1973 in, in the club in Ireland, which is called Fitzwilliam Street. So it was a pretty famous club. And then I went on to train with another instructor called Morris Mann. And he was another really good Irish instructor. And then um, in the late 70s, I got to connect with Mr. Parker and then was basically training with Mr. Parker until he, his passing and then moved on. And from over 13 years now with Mr. Sepulveda. It, John, uh, it was John Conway's school with uh, Jim Royce. So that was John Conway's school, but he had been a student of John McSweeney. So um, we, 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 we knew John McSweeney, but John Conway was my first instructor. Well, it was like, you know, it was the Bruce Lee era. It was the, the you, when I, and when I first went to Mr. Conway's club, I knocked at the door and it was like, it was like the scene out of the end of the dragon. It was just full of young men. We had no children, no women. Everyone was really 18 to about 25 years old. And interestingly, it was just tough and rough and it was, um, it was a great experience. In fact, when I knocked at the door to join the club, he told me to come back in two weeks. He was just too busy. It was, it was uh, so popular, it was, but it was the only place to be. It was, um, it, we, were, we, ruled, we ruled Dublin at that time. Dublin was, Kempo, Kempo was, the, the, was the dominant martial art and still is one of the dom dominant martial arts in Ireland. Well, yeah, we, I mean, we, 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 like, to hit our, we like to hit hard in Ireland. We, I think of a, I have an unfair reputation for hitting hard. He was a hard man and he, and he, he, he was strong. He, his classes were, you know, anything he ever taught me, I never forgot because he was just powerful. I mean, he, he the, the, the Kempo was just, I suppose, you know, you, we didn't, you know, we, we, we never heard of waivers until we arrived in America. I mean, we, we were, the techniques were strong. We fought a lot. Um, and in those days, we fought, we fought competitions against the, the Japanese and whatever. But, I mean, the, we had no gloves on. It was, and we, we were matching these guys. We were, it was an interesting time. Um, it was so, it was so popular. It was unbelievable. I mean, the classes were, you could have 60 guys in a class. I mean, the atmosphere was just, I mean, it was like, I don't know, if you, like being in a rugby match and then you walk out, you've got, your shins were buckled, your knuckles were raw, but it was it was fun. It was inter It was definitely a different era, and uh, um, it was funny. I, I would say I fought. I fought a lot. I won the All, All Ireland Championships a few times, and the the difference was that it was just in my from for me personally, fighting is not a problem. I enjoy. I always enjoy fighting, and so it was pretty much a biggest big part. The basics were strong, forms. Um, techniques. I mean, we kind of did everything. We we ran everything. Which William Street though has a club was quite small. Um, it was like it was a private kind of the basement of a private house. So later on, we we was a we were training in another club, which was only two hundred yards away. But they had a big like a community sports hall, and that gave us a lot more space. But has a club. Which William Street was a was a was a home basically originally like a. It was a what we call a Georgian building, so it was about three four hundred years old, and um, a lot of good history there. A lot we were very, um, uh, but but not very spacious. The problem we had was we started off fighting. We just fought, right? And uh, anyway, the, we we the, this crowd came in and said they we're going to have full contact fights. So we said um, full contact. What's that like? And they came out with a lot of big gloves and they were showing what they were doing, and they said. Oh my God, I said, if that's full contact, what in God's name have we been doing for the last, you know, you know, 20 years, 30 years? Because we were murdering each other and what they were describing as full contact and showing us was very mellow compared to what we were doing. We were, we were whacking each other. Um, we, I mean, one of the guys that came in and he got a f first foam he head guard and we, as soon as he seen the head guard, we started hitting hard because we thought that he has protection. And that head guard came off so fast. He just realized we thought he was protected in reality. So um, it, it wasn't really a definition. There was really you fought. That was it. Mm. And then point fighting came in. And the, we had issues with the Japanese instructors because they didn't like front kicks. They didn't like front hand strikes. And it took a long time for them actually to be accepted. I think really 
Ed Parker's Long Beach kind of sorted that out. We, you know, with people like Steve Sanders and probably Bob White and Frank Trejo start, you know, start showing that front hand kicks and front front hand strikes did work. But initially, the, the, we had difficulty with the Japanese stylists. They weren't really accepting that those type of weapons. 